best in local HD news. Louisiana's News Channel brings you 9 News at Noon. You're watching 9 News at Noon. The weekend days are filled with tailgating parties. we got LSU and, of course, the 9 and 0 Saints. So we're going to show you how to do it right. Texas Day Brazil is here with some grilling tips for us. We're going to visit with them here in just a bit. I'm not sure they brought enough meat, though. We might need to check on that. All right. Not in this day and age. We are back. It's WAFB 9 News at Noon, and welcome to our uh, studio kitchen once again, Texas to Brazil. We have Evandro and Claudio, and uh, welcome uh, back well, to the, the thank station. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to leave. There's so many things I want to ask. Uh, first of all, Tell us about Brazilian cooking. What is that? Yeah, we have uh, at Texas Brazil what we call churrascaria in Brazil. It's uh, the most popular uh, kind of steak. The way you're going to serve a steak is always like that. You're going to have in skewers, a large piece of meat, and you're going to cook it over open uh, flame. Charcoal, we don't use gas, you don't use, uh, use wood, it's always charcoal. So here we have the picanha, this is the way the gauchos, like Claudio here, they go to the tables, they slice the meat, table side, to our guests. And beside the picanha, this huge and beautiful meat, we have lamb chops, mm. that you told me is your favorite one. Absolutely. Sausage. I'll leave that one here. Pork loin. Man. Filet mignon wrapped in bacon, very, very popular as well. Now how do you prepare the, the flank meat? flank steak. We, at Texas Brazil, use a very simple marinade for the chicken, pork, and uh, lamb. That's uh, olive oil, garlic, a lot of uh, green herbs like mm -hmm. sage, oregano, rosemary. Well, I've been to the, the restaurant many times, uh, probably more than I should. I want to do some of this at the house. What can I, how can I do some marinades at the house and, and try to emulate what you guys do a little Absolutely. bit? Absolutely. Is we it gonna, hard? Today, uh, it's possible. Okay, go <laughs> yeah. ahead. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We don't do exactly like that in Texas uh, Brazil, but something we can do, we are coming to the season of uh, tailgating, grilling outside. Okay. That's always something very, very simple with a lot, a lot of flavor. Ahead. So what you're going to need here, a little bit of soy sauce. Okay. We're going to have to, I, I want to get the whole recipe in, so if we could kind of rush it along here. We got the soy sauce, I see garlic. Some garlic, yeah. Some ginger, ginger, got it. Some uh, chili uh, right. sauce, chili as much sauce. as you want. We can buy that in the okay. grocery. And something that goes very, very well. I love that is uh, sesame seed oil. All right. Okay. So you mix all together here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna have some uh, nice uh, chicken breast, mm -hmm. like we have here. I'm going to touch. That's my favorite tool here. Okay. So some chicken. Can see that's uh, now you're going to put this in the marinade and uh, let it sit for how long? At least overnight. Uh, overnight. Overnight. All right. So this is not something you do an hour before your guests arrive. No, no, no. Okay. If you want and the flavor, and then you grill it. You grill it. Very, very hot. And the beautiful about a zip bag. Well, we're gonna. Uh, I want to re recap this in just a second. When we come back, we have a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Texas to Brazil in the studio with us here on WAFB's Nine News at noon. We'll be right back. Awesome. 